Well, breaking news, Dorian is in the Bahamas right now with maximum winds up to 160 miles an hour. That storm is headed for the East Coast, and that could bring some intense wind and rain to as many as four states. Florida could get tropical storm force winds by tonight. John Phillips lost his house to Hurricane Irma back in 2017. He rebuilt it from the joist to the rafters. Joins me now via Skype from Jacksonville. John, good morning. Good morning. Um, thanks for being with us. So anytime you hear about a hurricane, I would suspect you'd have flashbacks of what happened to you after Irma. You do. I mean, particularly if you've been through what we've been through. And, and I'm, a, I'm a Gulf Coast native. I've been through countless hurricanes. I'm 44, 44 years old. It was this one that got me. And seeing it and hearing it's a Category 5 and watching the news, it, it, it's an uneasy feeling for us and our kids who, who really don't know that you can, sur you know, that you can have hurricanes without damage or, or even more freaked out than we are. What about now that it's been upgraded to a Category 5? What do you say to, you know, someone else that is in that position? You know, maybe in the Bahamas or, you know, obviously it's moving. When you get these warnings, what's your advice? You've got to take them seriously every time. And, and you get, you know, Florida was lucky that we had a, a few years of close calls and no real significant damage. But with Matthew and Irma and some of the ones we've had recently, and, and they're getting stronger. Fives are more common now for whatever reason, uh, not to get into politics. But we, we, you've got to take them seriously. If we've evacuated the last two. We're still kind of sitting on pins and needles trying to determine if we're going to go up north or, or I guess west to try to avoid the storm. What about at this point? Are you seeing any signs of the storm yet? So th there is this tide that, that people keep talking about. I'm no meteorologist. I'm just a lawyer. But the, the tides are higher when they crest, which when you have, that was part of the problem with Irma. You have a river that flows north through Jacksonville. You have these high tides, uh, nor'easters and and a hurricane coming through. It's not really the hurricane that people think about, the the wind and the and the houses that disappear. For most people, it's the storm surge uh, okay. that floods you and and wipes out you know wipes out your way of life, knocks out power. All right, John Phillips, thank you so much for sharing your story. Stay safe out there. We appreciate your time today. Thank you. We're switching gears here. Uh, meteorologist Allison Chinchar has some breaking news. You want to update us on a few things, Alex?